if everyone in my house would get a number two all over like mine, our bathtub drains wouldn't get plugged up. Today, we're going to unplug the bathroom drain. This is a Watco brand, W-A-T-C-O. You pull it up, it lets the water drain, push it down, it holds the water in place. We're going to use a 9 16 wrench, some channel lock pliers, and one of my garage rags. There is, underneath here, there is a flat end. We're going to use this rag to cover this knob. I'm holding that in place so that it won't turn. Put a rag over the knob, took the pliers, and turned it lefty-loosey. I need a screwdriver as well. We are going to use a flathead screwdriver. If you can see down in there, a flathead screwdriver will just fit in there so that we can turn that out. We're gonna take this screwdriver, put it down in there, give it a few turns. See, that's where the screwdriver's going in. That threads down farther into the drain. That's the gunk that's causing the drain to be slow. We've got two bathrooms here in the house. I'm not flexing, but you know, I am a big YouTuber, over 40 subscribers. What we are going to use, instead of chemicals, the drain rooter, you can pick these things up at the dollar store, online, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. You don't have to take the plug off as long as it comes up where you have room. This is very thin, it's made of plastic. You can see it's got barbs on the side. Be careful with those. And we're going to feed that down into the drain as far as we can and here we have the reason why the bathtub is draining so slowly holy cow i think the neighbor's cat may have gotten in here as well see i don't think the liquid plumber and stuff like that i don't know how much of that you would have to use to get all of this out look at that look at that leftover shampoo conditioner that's what came out. I am able to ascertain that it is much, much clearer down in there now. These drain strips, as I said, you can pick them up online and I have seen them at the dollar store. I've seen them at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, all over the place. And you can spend up to about $6. There are different types, different styles and designs. They all basically are intended to operate in the same fashion. Now this one, you can hose off and probably get a couple of uses out of it. You see those barbs there on the side? Those reach down, they slide down past the hair and debris. You can give them a little bit of a turn or something. The barbs will grab all that hair. Sometime in the next day or two, when I go to the store, I'm gonna grab a container of baking soda and probably a gallon jug of regular old distilled white vinegar. And I am going to run about a cup of baking soda down that drain and then pour vinegar in on top of it. It's gonna cause a little chemical reaction. It is sort of like an acidic reaction and that will help eat up. It won't, it won't go through a clump of hair like that, but some of the small strands that might be left behind as well as any leftover hair product, soap residue, conditioner, moisturizer, things like that. It should tear that out of the way. And there what I'm doing is just running a little hot water down there. Put this back together momentarily. It's a fairly simple procedure. We're going to place that back on, line it up with the hole, and when I can use both hands, I'll get the screwdriver, tighten that into place. This is what you're looking at here when this comes out. If you can see, it's flat on the sides. See there, it's flat on that side, it's flat on this side, it's rounded on the other two sides. So that's where you're going to grab with the open end of your 9 16 wrench. Using that to hold it steady while, once we get this screwed back into place, we'll screw the decorative knob on there. And there we go. We'll put that back in place and get the number two all over. Appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and proving that all of my viewers are just a little bit above average. See you next time.